Hello and welcome back to a, another tutorial video. Now I haven't, done, I haven't really done one for a while and um, I wanted to do a tutorial on how I edit fast flowing water, waterfalls etc like that and how I sort of create different textures within the water mainly but um, we'll go over the main edit and then I'll just show how I, I um, alter the detail in the water, either soften it or bring more detail out. Now I do like to shoot the, the image at around an eighth of a second, something like that. Um, this shot I'm showing you now is at two seconds. So we've, we've got a nice soft water, but a little bit of detail missing, let's say. So we can bring that out in Lightroom and Photoshop. And we can also do it the other way around. We can soften it if we want to soften it as well. So. Um, sorry we'll do this in Lightroom so we can soften it in Lightroom or we can give it a bit more detail in Lightroom as well so I'll show you how I'm going to edit this waterfall image the waterfall image was from Janet's Foss we did a challenge there the day before a bit of fun and um, and then the next day we visited uh, Janet's Foss because I'd never been there so um, a couple of the guys took me there and um, I got a couple of shots didn't video it but I thought I'd show you the the edit that I did on one or two of these images and they're very very similar so this is one of the shots it's a side shot um, now two compositional things that I was concerned about when I was taking this image one of them is just a simple crop the other one I can't do so much about it so I'm gonna deal with it in part of the edit but it's these two highlighted areas one is the waterfalls coming over then this one on the right hand side well the right hand side I'm just gonna crop it out I'm literally just gonna crop it out so we get rid of that that's that done um, and I think to balance it up we've got this little bit of um, foliage in the right hand top corner which is right at the top which is annoying me a little bit so I'm actually going to crop it from the other side as well like so and that crop is something like a 4 by 3 there we go it's very very close to a 4 by 3 so we'll have it as 4 by 3 and we'll, we'll just drop it there I'm just having a look at the outer edges um, see what that's like so I'm happy with that so I'm just going to come out a little bit so we can see the image a little bit more um, so I'm going to do some general adjustments first which we always do and then we'll get into the nitty-gritty so the first thing I'm going to do is before I do anything else is just click the remove chromatic aberration and I've enabled lens correction as well then we'll just work on some of the highlights and the um, shadows etc. Highlights, if we drop the highlights down we obviously lose that nice colour in the water as well so I'm actually going to keep the highlights pretty much as is. Um, shadows I'm going to bring up a little bit because it's quite dark and I want to see this texture in the, the massive rock formation that the water comes over so I want to see that texture there. Um, whites again if we bring the whites up at this stage we'll start blowing everything out and if I do put the clip on we've already blown out the the top part as it is so um, adding any more white to that image is going to cause us a bit of a problem if anything I'll drop the highlights back down and it's blown out just slightly anyway now for me that isn't a problem because we're going to deal with that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually drop down the blacks a lot, something like that. And I'm going to bring up the DAs and I'm going to bring up the clarity, which obviously brightens that image up a little bit. And I'm going to bring up the texture just slightly. So we've, we've brightened up that image um, a fair bit. So what I'm going to do is actually drop the shadows just back down a bit what I'm looking for in the shadows is not complete black I want them just off black to give it that nice soft effect and 
then all I'm going to do for some extra adjustment is just go down to the curves I'm just going to pull down the blacks a little bit more up the whites just a touch and that will give a little bit more saturation now saturation wise I'm quite happy with that if sometimes if we um, start adjusting things it adds saturation to it so I will just drop it down a bit but at the moment I think that saturation is quite nice so let's deal with that highlighted area first so the highlighted area what I would do if I hold shift and press M this is on a PC that should give me a um, a radial graduate filter and I'm going to bring it over the top like so and I'm, what I'm actually going to do is is give this a bit of a soft effect by deasing that filter so I'm going to just deaze as if the soft lights coming through but I'm also going to add a little bit of a warmth to that light as well by clicking on the little color box and picking a color that I quite like now you can already see that that's added if we just switch that on and off that's added a nice soft effect um, a nice sun glow coming through the top of the canopy and I think that we'll just bring it over a bit and sort of there we can adjust this however we want just to suit because the, the light sitting in these leaves here it's sitting this side here we're just making it that nice soft light that's penetrating through the top canopy and now I think that works really well if we just knock that on and off it looks so much better so we've dealt with the nice highlighted area at the top there which I don't like to crop out sometimes I do but I'd rather have, see a little bit of it so we can see the waterfall as it comes over so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to deal with the texture of the waterfall so we want to get a mask of just the water so what I'm actually going to do is I think I'm going to choose a colour see if this works first and we're going to select the waterfall and it's selected an awful lot of the um, surrounding area as well so if we drop, refine that by dropping it down 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 right down till it's at its minimum there and then if we subtract, subtract a brush and then just paint over the areas that we don't want to affect these areas here we don't want to affect we just want to affect the water as much as we possibly can and you'll see why in a second so that's that's selected the water quite nice now that's actually really nice well selected um, we could have tried a uh, creating another layer and doing a luminosity that might have worked pretty similar but I'm quite happy with that so just choose the um, the mask that's going to suit what we want to do so next thing is this is where we can get more texture in that water bring detail out or smooth it and it's all to do with the texture and the clarity slider so if we want to bring a bit of texture out we just up that texture um, and we'll just see what that's done so it's it's brought a fair bit of texture out there not super noticeable but it's just right but if we want to still keep it a nice soft flow effect if we drop the clarity we start to get that nice silky effect but with texture so we've got the best of both worlds now another thing that will enhance it a little bit is actually DAs and we can either drop the DAs or we can bring the DAs up so this is where it's a personal preference what we want from it where we want a bit more texture or a little bit less texture but let's just up the DAs for let's say for now and then the only other thing I want to do is because I want that that white water to be nice and white so I'm just gonna up the whites but we out blowing it out and what I'm actually trying to do is making that waterfall stand out a little bit so 
that little bit of masking is transformed this image I believe so that's pretty much the water done it's so easy but what I suggest is is you play around and get it to how you want it the important thing is getting that mask where you want it to to affect and then play around with them three sliders that's the text texture the clarity and the DAs and you can go up and down depending on your shutter speed as well you might think oh what well, I wish I had it a little bit smoother so drop the clarity down it's fantastic it's almost having that bit of adjustment within that flow of water and it really works well so I want to bring my eye to the waterfall a little bit more this area here is a little bit light and this area here is a little bit light so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a radial filter again and I'm just going to drop it over there like so and I'm just going to drop the exposure down a little bit just to darken that rock off and then I'm going to grab another one and I'm going to do the same here. Now we can do it with a linear. I just think sometimes with a radial filter it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye and if we want to build that radial filter up again we'll just add another one and we can just add a smaller one and build that up like that and again we can do that with a, um, a linear grad as well sometimes the linear grad works better sometimes the radial filter works better and I'm just going to add another one in this corner here or we can mix the two together just to darken that down like so and that's already added a little bit more vignette to the image basically so I'm just going to darken again this area down here now I think we could do this with a linear linear grad PC just press M that will select a linear grad bring that down like so adjust as we want it just to darken that down and I'm going to create another one just on top of that fantastic so the only other thing I want to do now is if we just zoom back out is I want to bring a bit of detail in this certainly in the rocked area where this moss is here and things like that and I want to do it locally so I'm just going to grab a brush and I'm going to up the texture sharpness a touch and I'm just going to paint where I want to bring that texture in that mossy rock out just as it brings your eye in so I'm going to do it here because it your eye starts at this foreground rock and comes through and sees all this texture here and here. And what it also does is focus on that area where we want to focus on. That is fantastic. The only other thing I, need, I want to do now is, is create, if we go out a little bit, I want to create a, just a little bit more depth to the image. So I'm actually going to use the colour grading but probably not add any colour what I'm going to use is just the luminosity of the colour grading the highlights the shadows and the midtones so if I up the luminosity of the highlights I'm probably going to up the highlights of the midtones like so to make it pop a little bit and I might just add a little bit of colour to that let's just add a little bit of warmth to that there we go just a little bit um, so we'll just see what we've done already we've just basically had in a little bit of contrast and then shadows not going to add any colour and all I'm going to do is drop down the luminosity of it like so now if we just come out zoom out image completed I'm quite happy with that again if we want to just create that little bit of a soft effect we can bring that DAs down right at the beginning there and it's just given that nice soft effect so we can have a look just have a look at before and after so there we started before 
um, well it's quite flat there's no texture there was not a lot of texture to the water it's a strange color etc we've got them highlights in the top there that we've we've dealt with so we've we've created that soft radial filter effect so that soft light coming through the top which is a lot nicer to to the eye and then we've we've got our silky effect or our effect we wanted with water and then right at the end there we've just give it a bit of contrast using the um, color gradient okay i've enjoyed that thanks for watching see you soon